everyone, my name is Para Iritakan and thank you for watching on my video. I am just glad that you are watching on this video because you are going to be learned about the 10 indigenous science on the Philippines. And I know that you must be thankful for that. And without further ado, let's go started. So we have examples of indigenous knowledge here. And the number one is production of the weather. It says weather forecasting is the application of current technology and science to predict the state of the atmosphere for a future time and a given location. They take the analysis of the starting point and involve the state of atmosphere forward to the to the time using the understanding of physics and fluid analysis. Do you get it? But the indigenous people here in Philippines are believing the kasili, the or what we call mythical fish. And during this new year, when the cow or horse eat grass, well, it meant broth. When the goat repeatedly wail, there will be landslide. Number two is we have using herbal medicine. So we have 114 plants used by the Tadyawans. The Tadyawans tribe, and including here are locus and banana. Also, herbs, plants, and oil may also be integrated. We have also what we call Hilot herbolanios or like those people who is believing in herbs, not in medicine, for sure. Also, Toho, we did it in Philippines, and Anino are included in its practices. Third one, we have preserving foods. So, Slow Food is an organization that aims to protect food culture and heritage all over the world. Food drying is a method of food preservation in which food is dried or dehydrated or desiccated. But the example here in, in the Philippines, especially to those indigenous people, is itag. Do you know what is itag? Itag is like a general term used in Fort Vilguera about the native traditional way of preserving the meat pork. So the fourth one, we have agriculture. So, the examples of agriculture, we have Banawi rice terraces. If you don't know about rice terraces, it is like rice terraces are deeply intertwined with indigenous cultures, tradition, practices, and the ecology of many mountains areas. So, we have, we're going to include in agriculture the Sweden farming, agricultural cycle, Pendupi, Mian, Premiers, and Constellation Orion. An example as well, I'll just give you the example of technology. We have a pottery and the finer metal craft. So to those who is not familiar of pottery, it is this. And to those who is not familiar with finer metal craft, and it is this. Check it out. And the next sixth indigenous science in the Philippines is producing wine. Do you know tape? Tape it is a rice wine. It is a traditional beverage originated from Banawe and the mountain of province. Especially every time that they have occasion in their family or in the province or in the barangay. Next one, we're going to go to the houses. So, houses, you know, some of the indigenous people before built their houses on the hills. Example of this is hot and subanan houses. So, I know we're not familiar with this, but it looks like this. This is the hot and this is subanan house. So, we are already in the 8th. Are you curious? It is building a local irrigation. 
Are you familiar with irrigation, right? Because some of the Filipino are farmers. Indigenous irrigation systems have been central features of Asian agriculture since prehistoric time and reflect technical knowledge with a proven records of sustainability. That is how irrigation is useful. And in the ninth, we have June. I am fun with June because that is my first transport. And jeepney are buses and the most popular means of public transport of vehicles in the Philippines. It is common. And lastly, we are already end. It is our tent. It is wavering. So Cebu Philippines, one of the most precious traditional livelihoods that are still kept until today is wavering. It is originating in the pre-colonial times, the art and wavering of the Cordillera tribal groups in the Philippines. North is still existing despite retreats and the most practical mass produce. So it's like productions of growth. And thank you for watching and I hope we learned this dance again. I'm going to repeat. We have predictions of weather. It is number one. Number two, we have using herbal medicine. Number three, we have preserving foods. And fourth, we have agriculture called irrigation. Ninth, chipney and tent weaving. God bless us all and thank you for watching. Please subscribe.